Hi guys, so I wasn't going to vlog today, but then I thought I would vlog today. I am currently in my pyjamas still with one slipper on my foot, I have no idea where the other one is, boyfriend is downstairs making breakfast and I think today we are going to go to the park. So I'm going to go downstairs, take off last night's makeup, which is not good, I should have taken it off when we got in. But it was really late and I was really tired, so I didn't. Oops, silly me. But I'm going to go downstairs and do that and have some breakfast and undishevel myself because I look a bit crazy. Hi! 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 Hello. Hi. Bacon and black puddings. Toast. Oh, sugar. It's proper like autumn breakfast. It is. The kitchen's a tip. Get the game. Well, clean it up then. I will. <laughs> I'm only joking, everyone. Once I find my other slipper. Mmm. Slippery. Ha 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 ha. Do you want to drink me? Yes, please. I'd love a coffee. A coffee? Yes. Coffee pour vous. We oui, miss ya. Frothy coffee. Oh yeah. I think they were horrible, like council flats. And now they're like really sort of because of the view over the park. Mm. Don't think I'd live there though. No, I wouldn't like sitting there. Might make, nice. might make me dizzy. Well, I like having a balcony looking over stuff. It's nice. I mean, you don't like our, our yard. It's, you can't even call it it's a yard. It's so big. You call it a manhole cover you and can a back put gate. One person out there. <laughs> <laughs> Small person. Not one person with a set of bin bags. As I've discovered previously. <laughs> Is this the right park? Yeah. Yes. Is this the right park? <laughs> So guys, we have been out for the entire day mm -hmm. at the park. It was really good, wasn't it? it was lovely. Yeah, we spent the day with some family just chilling out in the park. There was some music on and the sun was shining mm -hmm. and I wore thermal tights, which was the biggest mistake ever because I was roasting. Mm -hmm. But now we're home and boyfriend is going to make his solo YouTube debut and he is going to cook us, uh, cook us a chicken soup for tea, so I'm going to film it and if he likes it, this is a bit of an experiment, if he likes it there may be, maybe, more cooking, videos. More cooking videos coming on my channel in the future, but we're going to test it out and see how it goes because I'm acting as camera woman and it could go horrendously wrong. Horrendously. Horrendously wrong. Alright. But... That is the plan, mm -hmm. and I hope you enjoy. There's a chicken carcass that I think we'd had like roast chicken, and I'd made pesto chicken out of it, and then and a, um, maybe a chicken curry, and then I took the carcass and then some skins off some chicken fires and froze them, and I basically just got out of the freezer and I got to boil it up uh, with about a litre and a half of water, like a full kettle, it's a really big pan, I suggest you can do it, make your own soup, get a massive pan, um, and I'll boil up with a load of veg and make a, uh, a chicken stock from scratch, 
and then uh, I'll pull out the carcass and uh, and the skin and what bits of meat um, I'll throw back in and we'll add some noodles and some sweet corn and a little bit of uh, lemon juice and a big load of pepper and um, maybe some garlic and a few herbs just to uh, balance the flavour out later. So, but we'll um, later. it's a super simple, uh, you can freeze all your ingredients and then you don't have to worry about doing it fresh. I mean, I'm going to throw in the boiling water with the chicken carcass, so it's important to make sure it's all at temperature, but I'm going, to, I'm going to boil this for about 45 minutes to an hour, and the veg I'm going to add is just some diced onion, it's upside down, diced frozen onion, and then just throwing some cheap mixed veg, and it's really, really easy soup to do. I mean, the key things is uh, seasoning later and lemon juice about the lemon juice. I didn't think it was that big a, um, a bigger deal but a friend of mine made, used to make chicken soup and she used to put lemon in it and uh, it made a phenomenal difference and that's what apparently makes chicken soup so good for you when you're ill. So I'm just literally going to throw the veggies. Onion is always good with chicken. So it's very liberal on the ingredients. There's no kind of measurements. You just get a feel for it. And I think that's how you should do the soup anyway. Not not really. It's not clinical, it's not. It's again the important bit is when it comes to seasoning because all the flavour comes from your chicken and then um, you know you, there's a sort of medicinal benefits come from the pepper and lemon juice and so you just have to be careful about how much you put in afterwards. Uh, literally just simmering, well, boiling the uh, the life out of the the carcass and the chicken skins and bones with the veg and that. And this will give us a nice chicken stock. And if I was going to do it like classically or properly or whatever you want to call it, I'd actually sieve out and strain the whole lot of this. And um, the meat that would be picked off the carcass would go back into the chicken soup afterwards. And the uh, same for the veg, uh, the skins and that probably discard, and the actual clear liquor that you'd get as a result afterwards. Um, ideally, you let it sit in a fridge for an hour or two, and basically, all the fat floats to the top and goes solid and uh, uh, sort of seven or eight degrees whatever temperature a fridge is at and it makes it dead easy to scoop it off but I mean old school way of doing it is just to boil it all up and then take the uh, chicken carcass out and eat it as is which I think we'll probably do that tonight because we're both really hungry and um, we can't really wait two hours for soup <laughs> but yeah so it's it, it, yeah exactly it, 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 it's personal preference really and I mean, if you want it to be healthier, then I think the best bet is to let it set and like take the fat off. But I think for our purposes, it's 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 good enough to eat straight away. I'm just turning less. this down to uh, basically like a gentle simmer, and uh, I'm just going to let it boil out for about like maybe like 45 minutes to an hour, something like that. And um, point that is the water, like the hot water, is really going to extract out. Keep all the flavour out the chicken carcass and the skin and stuff out and make a really nice stock. And the longer you boil it for, the better. Because uh, the, the thing with a stock, you can't rush a stock. You can't, after five minutes, just sieve it and then strain off like the carcass and have a really good taste and stock. It'll just taste really watery and uh, lack any kind of flavour or depth. So it's just one way you sort of fire and forget. It'd be ideal for like a crock pot if. Um, like at the minute I've just threw it in a pan because I can put a lot more heat into it quite quickly but potentially you could actually make the chicken stock over like three or four hours if you have the patience with a uh, crock pot set on medium to high and just let leave it fire and forget it sort of thing and then come back to it like later on in the afternoon or evening and then uh, 
can I carry on with the rest of the dish? Hi guys, so I don't know where boyfriend got up to with the chicken soup but we have now finished eating and I can report that it was very, very delicious. Good. And he even put a little bit of black pudding in there as a bit of a surprise and treat, even though when I first saw it, I wasn't sure what it was and I thought it might be poo. No, it wasn't. <laughs> Temptation no, no. was there. No, it was really nice soup. Mm. So now I'm in my pyjamas and we're on the sofa and I'm underneath the snuggly teddy bear blanket from Dunnell Mill that we bought that I love so much and we are catching up with last week's Downton because we didn't get a chance to watch it during the week mm. so oh and I just had a bag them and boyfriend had a cookie and cream thing mm. Tesco's ice cream. Oh, was happy yeah Tesco's finest Tes no no I don't know if it's finest or know. their own but cookies and cream one lovely it was very nice and yeah i actually fell asleep like an hour and a bit ago watching something else so i think i'm a bit tired so i don't know if we're gonna watch downton after we've watched downton I might just go to bed but i hope you've enjoyed coming with us today sorry i didn't feel much in the park but we were having some family time and that's obviously you know something that i didn't want to film because families separate to youtube but it was a lovely day and i hopefully will be vlogging again soon i'm not sure when but stay tuned to my channel for more videos like this one and lots of other videos and my rambly face and sometimes boyfriend's rambly face too but i hope you've had a lovely weekend and we will catch up with you soon bye bye